Today we're going to be doing something a little interesting. We're going to be gender bending some townies. Not for any particular reason, other than I think some of these townies will probably look quite cute as the opposite gender. I'm going to start off with the goth family, because don't you always? So we have our living icon, Bella Goth. And I guess to start off, we will just go in. Boop. Ooh, wait, okay, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Not gonna lie, Bella looks really cute. You know what, I'm realizing I forgot to change her physical frame to masculine. I don't necessarily have to do that, like, cause like, look, look, so cute. Bella has really nice eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna straighten out the eyebrows a little bit. It just makes the face look a little bit more masculine. And I mean, whilst we're here, we might as well. Okay. You know what? That's not, you know, that could be a lot worse. That's actually quite cute. Kind of looks like my mom a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not mad at that. Still got his features, but quite feminine. I quite like it. This is weirdly fun. His nose really do be popping though. I'm gonna keep that though. It's one of his defining features, so I would feel weird taking it out. I want to sort out these eyebrows though. I'll make them thinner and then I'll give them a little bit more of an arch. You know what? <laughs> that is not bad. You know, you do okay, your ears are really popping, but Mortimer Goth, you are a cute lady. Okay, so Cassandra as a boy. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. Let's see that baby face. Okay. I guess Cassandra already kind of had that sort of full cheeks going on. His face was a little bit more on the rounder side. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> the little chip monkey, but still cute. I think I'll bring his cheeks in just a little. None of them are turning out terrible. And that's what's surprising me the most, I think. I'm gonna masculinize the eyes just a little bit, just because I want it to look a little bit more natural. Bring up the corners a little bit, change positioning there <laughs> oh look at cassandra what's like nope what's oh the hair <laughs> oh the hair oh oh that's a that's a look honey <laughs> actually no I'm, I'm gonna change the hair i don't think i could cope <laughs> You know what? He's got some good angles. I don't want to change the face too much because I still want it to keep it Cassandra. Let's get some hair on you. And finally for our quick gender change, we got little Alexander Goth. <gasps> okay, wait. Apparently it's not letting me... We'll leave him for now because I don't want to go into game and enable it. Fix his brow bone just a little. Bring his nose down. Okay, he looks a little rhino-y now. I'll bring his brow up a little. <laughs> Hey, excuse me. Oh, bring this chin down a little. Mm. Overall, Cassandra's face is quite nice features. I think I'll leave it like that for now. Cassandra, Cassandra Goth. Cause Cassandra always had that iconic two bun. I'm kind of thinking, how do I emulate that? Well, not that. Um, I feel like this is a little too cool for Cassandra. Would Cassandra have long hair? Or would Cassandra actually have quite neat hair because she always had her hair tied back this is quite neat but it's also quite stylish and i don't know if cassandra cares much for style mm, this is too styled it's too edgy you know this might work it's kind of natural but it's not unkempt it's not too unkempt this could work i think this is probably the most suitable this is very short and it's very practical much like cassandra's original pigtails it doesn't look like it's had too much styling i think it's Suits this guy pretty well. Gotta get rid of this outfit though. That is something else, my dude. Usually she wears that patterned skirt and a black t-shirt. We could keep the black shirt. I think that would be quite nice. Bro, Cassandra's face is actually really cute. Just give me a black button down. Yeah, that's pretty Cassandra. And we need Pat oh Ooh, pat Ooh, pat 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 Usually I hate these trousers, but low-key it's kind of Cassandra. I'm gonna give Cassandra some... I'm gonna give Cassandra her glasses back for it. I'm gonna give... Hey, what happened? I'm gonna give Cassandra her glasses back though. Look at Cassandra! Okay, we have to change Cassandra's name because I can't keep calling her Cassandra. Cass ca 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 Con Con Connor Goth? Connor Goth. We'll go with Connor Goth. 
I am going to leave Cassandra like that. Which is not too bad. I don't hate that. It's kind of cute. Okay. Mortimer Goth, we're going to change her name to Margaret Goth. Mar... 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 Margaret... Mar... Margaret? Margaret? How do you spell Margaret? We'll change it to Maggie. <laughs> Maggie Goth instead of Mortimer. That's quite cute. Oh, look at this old lady. Ain't she sweet? What would Mortimer Goth wear as a woman? Usually Mortimer wears this um, in red. Uh, but I don't... You know what? That actually doesn't look too bad. Definitely looks like my mom. <laughs> this is... Oh, man, this is... Ooh! Wow. But that's not bad. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. A businessy skirt? Ooh! Wait... Wait... <laughs> that's not bad. We'll give her some tights as well, just because that's... You know, quite proper and quite civil, and I think Mortimer would probably wear tights. I have a feeling Mortimer, as a woman, maybe would wear, like, light makeup. Okay, I think that is Maggie Goth pretty much done. Not bad, not bad at all. Right, okay. Okay. Male Beller actually does look okay, like ignore that hairline. But, like, female Bella just has a very handsome face and I've never realized that before. <laughs> we'll change it, we'll change it just because it's part of the game, right? But I am declaring now that Bella is very handsome. I don't even have to change much of the face. The face is actually very proportionate and nice. Wouldn't it be funny if I just gave her Mortimer's hair? Although, to be fair, it doesn't look bad on her. Ooh, we'll give her the, uh, sweepy sweepy. We call it the sweepy sweepy because it's the sweepy sweepy hair that I like. Mm, actually, no, sweepy sweepy doesn't quite look good on her. This looks a little nicer. Uh, not bad. Mm -hmm. I was joking about giving her Mortimer's hair, but actually, no, no. Uh, that's not bad. No. <laughs> Maybe this? Might actually go with this. This is kind of simple. Let me just compare this once more to the Mortimer hair. Ugh. The Mortimer hair looks really good on her. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna- I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm keeping the Mortimer hair. It just looks good on her. Okay, uh, we want something fancy. Oh wait, if we make it red. Is it in red? Ooh, that's kind of her. I can see her wearing something like that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and with that, we have the gender bent goth family. Connor Goth, aka Cassandra. Very baby faced, very sweet. Maggie Goth. What a boss. What a bee. What a legend. You know what though? I think it's because Maggie Loki looks like my mom. And that's why I have just this love for her. Look at her. Ain't she fancy? And then we have Bella. Oh, I didn't change Bella's name! <laughs> okay, wait. Um, uh, ben? Ben Goth? That's not fancy enough. Benjamin? Benjamin Goth? Oh, we'll go with Benjamin. Benjamin's still a nice name. <laughs> what a fancy boy. I love it. I love them. I didn't think I'd enjoy this that much, but that was actually very, very fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed making it. If you'd like to see more of me, feel free to subscribe. I'm also on Twitter, so feel free to go check that out. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye!